Hallelujah. Glory be to the Most High God. Good evening, my brothers and sisters. This is your brother, Pastor Tumiche, from the Believers Evangelical Fellowship. I'm happy to be with you once again. Glory be to God. I don't know where you are. Those of us on the northeast coast of uh, of the United States have just gone through a storm. <clears throat> Not of biblical proportions, but that's what they would have you believe. <laughs> but all glory to God. We thank God. I understand in some places the weather is doing 80 degrees. And I'm like, okay, maybe I'm in the wrong place. <laughs> Oh, glory to God. May you be where God wants you to be. That's what matters the most. <clears throat> Hallelujah. May you be where Jesus wants you to be. May you not be found in a different place from where <clears throat> Jesus wants you to be. Oh, glory to God. Father, we commit this deliverance hour into your hands, knowing that only you can fully do it the justice that it requires. Lord, we ask for forgiveness of sins, whatever might withhold our blessings or withhold us from being a proper conduit. We ask that the blood of Jesus and your mercy wash it away tonight. And I ask, Lord, for your children that wisdom will come through this teaching and deliverances will come through the prayers in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm asking that you show mercy to every one of us, O oh Lord, tonight. And we ask for a release of your angels right now to minister safety and protection. Let the blood of Jesus surround us, cover us. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Glory be to the Most High God. Please, if there's anybody online, I want to be sure that you can hear me tonight because the other night, I understand people were having issues with um they were having issues with uh with the volume so if you're online you can just confirm to me that the volume is okay so i can know that you're you're hearing what i'm saying glory to god he took our infirmities upon himself that is the topic of our <clears throat> of our deliverance hour tonight he took our infirmities upon himself. You know, I was recently looking at cases of uh, some of the cases of biblical deliverance that I've had to minister to, you know, of course, with the power and the leading of the Holy Spirit. And I remembered a few of them. And when I put them all together, it occurred to me that it's something that we should visit and revisit. And that the Lord will continuously help us. Hallelujah. I can list a few of them that I remember. I remember the case of a 67-year-old woman who, having struggled all her life, suddenly found that her purported father is not her biological father, but that she was a product of rape by her father's brother, 67, struggling through life. But she now has got that <clears throat> her father, well, who they say is her father is not her father, but that somebody raped her mother, her father's brother. There is a case of a family where all the women are victims of insexual rape from one generation to another. So once you are old enough, Somebody, a family member will rape you. In sexual rape. As a biological family member will rape the women. I remember another case that we had to deal with. A family where, when we looked at the deliverance forms they filled, they could succeed at only one job. Prostitution. Prostitution. Nothing the woman would did to make a living work except they took money from men for sex. 
from one generation to another. I remember another one, a sister who was unable to get married and finally found out that her dad had impregnated a woman before impregnating her own mom that's for her to be born and that that first woman died while having an abortion to get rid of that first child and the woman's family insisted that her dad marry the corpse of the dead woman and do some rituals she is not being able to get married and she was wondering why because rituals and curses were done and her own mother had her after this had happened. Another case, I remember a family where the firstborn men, they always die. And then the second son always ends up marrying the widow and fathering her children. So you can imagine it, a family where their generations are sustained by only the second son. <laughs> marrying the widow of the first son so it's not that they can't have children it's not that they can't have boys they have at least two boys every generation because one dies off first then the second impregnates his wife and that was going on for like four generations it was when we the holy spirit was helping and all that that these kind of things come out the bible says he's the one that will bring us to remembrance of all things that christ taught us when you look at these stories you ask yourself how does one come out of all these horrible foundational situations how can you come out of a situation whereby you have such a terrible foundation where is incest in your family or where would the women only do prostitution or a family where Every, from one generation to another, it's, drunkenness is the problem. The men get drunk, the women get drunk. They all live a riotous life. And you are born there. And you are now a Christian. Somebody took you to a church. You heard the word of God. And man, by the grace of God, you accepted him as your Lord and Savior. But then you have this horrible foundation. And you are going through, you are having all kinds of issues. How does one come out of these kind of problems spiritually? <laughs> the answer is not very far-fetched. I can tell you that tonight. Glory be to God and the word of God. The answer is not very far-fetched. It's not very far-fetched. You just need to go and look at the word of God. And when it's time to pray, please pray. I beg you, pray. Isaiah 43, 3 to 5, it says, He was despised and rejected by men, a man of sorrows. What did I call him? A man of sorrows. Here is Prophet Isaiah prophesying of the coming Christ. He was despised. He was seeing the vision of what was going to happen to Jesus. And he was writing it down for us all to read i mean these are hundreds of years before christ was born he was despised and rejected by men a man of sorrows <clears throat> excuse me acquainted with grief like one from whom men hide their faces he was despised and we esteemed him not surely he took on our infirmities which is the title of today's program and carried our sorrows yet we considered him stricken by God struck down and afflicted but he was pierced for our transgressions he was crushed for our iniquities the punishment that brought us peace was upon him and by his stripes we are healed uh, brother many of us when we hear these words it's a time of prayer for healing i'm talking about physical healing then remember that by his stripes we're healed let me just read just at the beginning of that sentence 
he was crushed for our iniquities. The Bible says the iniquities of the father will be visited on the children till the fourth born. These are things that were told us in the Old Testament, of course. But these are things that were written. Isaiah prophesied it. He was crushed for our iniquities. Matthew 8, 16 to 17. When evening came, men, this was Jesus. Many who were demon possessed were brought to him and he drove out the spirits with a word and healed all the sick. This was to fulfill what was spoken through the prophet Isaiah. He took up our infirmities and bore our diseases. This is exactly what I was saying earlier. That the iniquities were placed, he was crushed. Jesus was beaten for our iniquities. Some our own personally. Some because of the foundational dislocations in our families. And which can be likened to these diseases and infirmities uh, in families. So let us quickly examine one part of the substitutional sacrifice of Jesus. Jesus was set up with an incredible lineage. I mean, you would think somebody with the title of King of Kings, Lord of Lords, Head of all principalities and powers, will have a royal purple bloodline in his biological genealogy, right? You and I know that was far from it. Far from it. You think that he will have a. <laughs> let me think. Maybe you have a, a Queen Elizabeth kind of a genealogy. We are born into royal wealth and all that. Far from it. Even though he was the king of kings and he's still the king of kings. He wasn't born that way. If you look at the genealogy of Jesus, Matthew 1, 1 to 17. If you go and look at his genealogy, that's his, the way his generations were, came to him from his ancestors. He calls him the son of David and the son of Abraham. And when you look at that genealogy, they trace it for 14 generations. From Abraham all the way to Joseph, who was actually his father by birth. Not biologically, but by birth, according to the law of the land of Israel. He was his father. Now, like I said, there are 14 generations. The interesting thing about the generations of Jesus, the genealogy of Jesus, is that there were all kinds of characters in his ancestral lineage. All types of what? Of characters. If you just go and look, and like I said, you can go, I don't really want to dwell too much on it. No, I don't want to dwell on the word, but I don't want to dwell too much on that uh, passage because it's a long thing that just names people but like I said some of the names there you see hateful people like Judah who sold his brother uh, uh, Joseph to slavery you see prostitutes like Rahab remember Rahab like Tamar you see prostitutes like that. You see deceivers. People who are proud and arrogant. Kings that are proud. Uriah. You see people like Ahaz. You see a line of uh, arrogance. You see a murderer like David who stole someone else's wife. Uriah. And had a baby by her, who was of the Jews on the bloodline, Solomon, the bloodline of Jesus. 
So that baby was born out of a real serious sin situation. Line of disobedience, like I said, people like Uriah, people like Ahaz, there's so many of them. A rainbow of, let me use a nice word, colorful characters. Those are the people who are the biological descendants of Jesus. The biological lineage of our Savior Jesus. Now, what can you infer from that? His coming was to show us that though the foundations of the family might be very crooked and filled with all these colorful people, he came in the pureness of the Spirit of God. He came in the pureness of God's Spirit. Why? Very simply. He was conceived in a woman's womb by the Holy Spirit. So it doesn't matter how you are conceived. Word for somebody. Doesn't matter how you are conceived. Rape? Are you giving it to the wrong father? It doesn't matter how you are conceived. You are conceived in uh, anger. You are conceived out of wedlock. It doesn't matter. Because the substitutional sacrifice Jesus did, even though he had that terrible, like I said, genealogical uh, ancestry, the fact that the, he was put in a, womb, a clean woman by the Holy Spirit himself, Cancelled all that. Jesus' assignment. I hope it's ministering to somebody out there right now. Jesus' assignment was to remove all spiritual legalities that could possibly hold you and I bound, especially from our foundations. I mean, Colossians 2.14, blotting out the handwriting of legalities of ordinances that were against us the bible says he took it away nailing it to the cross so anything that is legal that your foundation has against you somebody was killing people in your bloodline or burying people alive they have prostitutes only in your bloodline they have marine spirits in your bloodline. They have um, hanged men in your bloodline. Whatever the situation is, he took it away. That's right that the enemy has against your foundation. He took it away. He took away the legality. He took it away. This boast that sin and grave had, he took away that boast. He took away the boasts that the sin, sin could say, I'm boasting. I can hold him. I can hold her. Or death, grave, he's saying, the wages of sin is death and you have sinned, so you're going to die. No. He took away the boast that they could boast. That's what Jesus did on the cross. And then when he went down to the earth for three nights, three nights. That mystery, brother and sister, is what being a Christian is all about. That is what being a Christian is all about. Prophet Isaiah, that same prophet that we just read in the 43 just now, he prophesied in oh, 53, he prophesied in 58.12 and they that shall be of thee shall build the old waste places. Thou shalt raise up the foundations of many generations, and thou shalt be called the repairer of the breach, the restorer of paths to dwell in. That was prophet Isaiah prophesying about what Jesus was going to be. The repairer of the breach. Breach, a gap. What is your gap between that bad foundation and a good life, a good destiny. 
He's the one that's going to repair you so that you can cross away from that evil to a good land, to a good place. The repairer of the breach. Once you have that relationship with Christ the Savior, he will and can repair the breach. He has the power. He has the sustenance. He's the head of all principalities and powers. Lamentations 3. Nothing happens between him and his father. I mean, nothing happens behind him and his father. They know what's going to happen. They know what happened at the beginning. They know the end thereof. But the key thing, no matter how bad it is, like, you know, is that Jesus can repair it. Doesn't matter how it can be, how bad it can be. <laughs> I personally, I come from a, from very tough foundations on my mother's side or my father's side. Tough foundations of polygamy. And the Lord has got many of my own generation, my own present generation, to serve him as full-time ministers. My siblings are serving him as ministers. My cousins are serving him as full-time ministers. In fact, three of us who are from the three different wives of my grandfather's lineage, all of us are pastors. I'm the eldest, but they're all the <clears throat> great ministers of God. <laughs> We're all okay. Great, great ministers. My sister is a pastor full time serving that's what the lord has done with our foundations i mean we really had no choice <laughs> because of deep rooted foundational issues that we had idolatry and polygamy in the family i learned many moons ago that a polygamous family can be the graveyard of many bright stars that's for another day but if you come from a polygamous family where the father had more than one wife <clears throat> or where your mother ma gave birth to for more than one man you probably have to pray hard you need jesus go and tell anybody i said so you need jesus to have any messed up foundation fixed there's incest in your family <laughs> you need jesus I remember going to one family one day, praying, and the Lord opened my eyes. And I started asking questions about incest. Incredible. They were raping three-year-olds in the family. All kinds of things. And of course, because of all this incest, People were dying like flies in the family. I, I just remember, I can't even remember where it was again. I think it's somewhere in the city where I live right now. But I can't remember which family. But I just remember that because I used to just go from one place to another doing that. But I was so scared about what had gone on in that lineage for generations. And there was an old quiet lady sitting at the back, an old matriarch of the family. And she was watching the Holy Spirit at work, unraveling these things. And she was the one, when I say she was the one, she was the real repository of the information because she was the oldest living. She herself had been raped through incest. I'm talking about a woman who was about 90 years old. So you can imagine how long that has been in that family. And the lady was having tears well out of her eyes. May the Lord have mercy on your family in the name of Jesus. Prostitution, alcoholism, drug use, outright poverty in your family. The first basic step is to receive him, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, as your Lord and Savior. That's the first basic step. That is the first basic step. If you have not, bow down your head now. Let's pray so we can pray. Just say after me. Say, Father, my Lord and my God, I just want to thank you. I want to thank you because of who you are. Today, I acknowledge 
that all have sinned and come short of your glory. And I am asking you tonight, O oh Lord, that because of who you are, accept me as your child. Accept me into your kingdom. Make me born again. I accept you as my Lord and my Savior. Make me born again, Jehovah. Show me your mercy. Show mercy upon me. Ask him to show you mercy. Write my name in the book of life. Cleanse me of all my sins. From today, I want to be your own. Write my name in the book of life. That is all you have to do, brother or sister. That's all you really have to do. Glory be to God. That's all you really have to do. Father, I want to thank you for whoever might be watching me quietly but has said that in their living room or they've said it in their bedroom, on their phone, wherever they are. I ask that you accept those into your kingdom tonight and that you show mercy upon them. Cleanse them from all sins. Make them born again from today, Lord. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Just find a Bible and start reading it or link yourself to a spirit-filled Bible-believing church. That's all you really have to do. Glory be to God. So if you've done that, or you are a child of God and you are watching, let us pray a few prayers. Let's pray a few prayers about our foundations. The first thing is that let's even thank the Lord for making provision for deliverance from captivity of our foundations this morning. Go ahead. Go ahead and just say, Father, I thank you. I thank you. Take it seriously. I thank you that you are able to fix my messed up foundation. I thank you that you already substituted your foundations because I have that kind of thing. Because you knew that I will come. Thank you for that. Just thank the Lord for that. Say, Father, I thank you that I will be released from captivity, that my family will be released from captivity tonight in the name of Jesus. Thank him for what he will do with the prayers you are praying this morning this evening in the name of Jesus thank you to the of glory in Jesus name we pray amen I want you to confess your sins where you are right now and that of your ancestors you want to always pray for foundations you need to first confess if you have not done it before so, father any sin that be, is being withheld that is being written out somewhere against me, against my family members. Have mercy. Daniel did it in the Bible. He did it in the Bible. Just say, Father, forgive me. Forgive us of our sins. Forgive my bloodline of their sins. In Jesus' name. Have mercy on us. You are a merciful God. We confess our sins of omission, of commission. Have mercy, Lord. Show us mercy. I'm praying in the name of Jesus. Just show my family mercy, I pray, Lord. Whatever is being withheld against me, whatever is being used against my children, whatever is being used against me and my family members, let the blood of Jesus cleanse it tonight. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Cover yourself and your loved ones with the blood of Jesus. Just go ahead and cover yourself and your loved ones. Say, I cover myself with the blood of Jesus. I sprinkle the blood of Jesus. I cover myself with the blood of Jesus. Let the blood of the sprinkling speak. Let it sprinkle my family members. Go ahead and do that. Go ahead and do that. I sprinkle the blood of Jesus over my children. My grandchildren, my parents, my siblings, my spouse, sprinkle the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 
We are going to pray. We are going to say, I release myself by God's mercy. I release myself and my family members from any inherited bondage in our bloodline in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray. By the God's mercy, I release myself and my family members from any inherited bondage tonight in the name of Jesus. I release myself and my family members from any inherited bondage tonight in the name of Jesus. I release our family members from inherited bondage in Jesus name we pray. Amen. 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 I want to say Father send your battle axe of fire into my foundations and destroy every evil plantation. Go ahead and pray. Send your battle axe. You know, the Bible says the axe will be laid to the roots. Whatever my Lord has not planted will be uprooted. Go ahead and pray. Lord, send your battle axe of fire into my foundations and destroy every evil plantation in my foundations. Even to the 15th generation. You should us Jesus' 14th generation. To the 15th generation, Lord, destroy every evil plantation in my family's bloodline. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. The next prayer point, let the blood of Jesus flush out from my body and that of my family members every inherited satanic deposit from our family in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray. Let the blood of Jesus flush out from my body, from the body of my family members, every inherited satanic deposit to the 15th generation in the name of Jesus. Let them be flushed out right now. Let them be flushed out now. Let the blood of Jesus flush out every inherited satanic deposit. Maybe it's the urge to prostitute. Maybe it's the urge to take drugs. Maybe it's the urge to drink uh, alcohol. Maybe whatever the urge is, let the blood of Jesus flush out from my body every satanic deposit. If it's a satanic deposit of sickness, let the blood of Jesus flush it out. Flush it out now. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Pray like this. By the blood of Jesus, I release myself and my family from any grip, any problem of poverty, of disease, in the name of Jesus. Anything transferred into our lives from the womb. Lord, by the blood of Jesus, we are released tonight. By the blood of Jesus, we are released now from the grip of any generational problem transformed into our lives from the womb. In the name of Jesus, I release myself, I release my family from the grip of any problem transferred to us from the womb. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, eternal King of glory. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Glory be to God. Please invite your family members. Share this particular uh, video with them. The next one, let the blood of Jesus and the fire of the Holy Ghost cleanse every organ in my body from disease. Go ahead and pray. Let the blood of Jesus and the fire of the Holy Ghost cleanse every organ in my body from disease, from paralysis, from sickness, in the name of Jesus. Let the blood of Jesus, the fire of the Holy Ghost, cleanse every organ in my body, in the name of Jesus. Let it cleanse it from paralysis. Let it cleanse it from any disease, any inherited disease, any disease, any gestational disease, whatever it is. Let the blood of Jesus, Cleanse me and the fire of the Holy Ghost. 
cleanse my body from disease, from infirmities, in the name of Jesus. Let my body be cleansed from disease, from infirmity, in the name of Jesus. Let my body be cleansed from disease, from infirmity, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 The next prayer, I break and loose myself from every inherited evil covenant in my family. I break, I lose myself. Go ahead and do it now. I break, I lose myself from every inherited evil covenant in the name of Jesus. I break, I lose myself. Pray if you want to pray. Break and lose yourself. Break and lose yourself. Break and lose yourself. In Jesus' name we pray. There's somebody watching this and laughing and saying, what on earth is this guy doing? If I were you, I would pray. If I were you, I would pray. And the Lord has given me a word for that person. In your family, they rise very high and then they fall suddenly. Because you are laughing, that's why the Lord revealed who you are. They rise and then they fall suddenly. You, that person, you are laughing. You say, what's this guy doing? The Lord said, yeah, you better pray. Join the prayers. <laughs> Hallelujah. I break and lose myself from every inherited curse. In the mighty name of Jesus. I break, I lose myself from every inherited curse. Even to the 15th generation. In the name of Jesus. I break and lose myself from every inherited family curse. In the name of Jesus. I break, I lose my children from any inherited family curse. Break now in the name of Jesus. Break by the blood of Jesus. Break by the hammer of God. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. The next prayer point you're going to say, I vomit every evil consumption that I was fed with as a child in the name of Jesus. I vomit every, you're doing it, and if you feel like vomiting, go and vomit it. I vomit every evil consumption that I was fed with since I was a child in the name of Jesus. I vomit it in the name of Jesus. I vomit it in the name of Jesus. I vomit every evil consumption that I was fed with as a child in the name of Jesus. I vomit it now in the name of Jesus. I vomit it now in the name of Jesus. I vomit it now in Jesus' mighty name. We pray. Amen. Amen. The next prayer, you're going to say, I command all foundational strong men and strongholds attached to my life to break and die. Foundational strong men and strongholds be broken. Be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Be broken, be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Command them, you have the authority. That is why you are a child of God. I command it. The Bible says, whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Whatever you loose, break, I mean, you, you shut down, you close up, will be closed in heaven. So go ahead and do that. Whatever you bound up. I command all foundational strong men and strongholds attached to my life. Be destroyed tonight in the name of Jesus. Be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Be destroyed. In the name of Jesus, be destroyed. In the name of Jesus, be destroyed. In the name of Jesus, be destroyed. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 The next prayer point. Let any rod of the wicked rising up against my family line be destroyed for the sake of my family in the name of jesus pray now in the name of jesus any rod of the wicked rising up against my children against my family to the 15th generation be destroyed for our sake in the name of jesus be destroyed for our sake the rod of the wicked will not rise will not will not have sway in my family again in the name of jesus the rod of the wicked Will not have will not hold sway in my family again in the name of Jesus. The rod of the wicked will not hold sway again in my family. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. 
Amen. Pray this one. I cancel the consequences of any evil name attached to my person and to my family in the name of Jesus. We cancel that consequence of evil names attached to us and to my family members in the name of Jesus. I cancel the consequence of any evil name attached to my person and to my family members in the name of Jesus. I cancel it now in the name of Jesus. I cancel it now in the name of Jesus. I cancel it now in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Glory be to God. Glory be to the Most High God. Hallelujah. You're going to say, every physical design, lose your hold over my life, be purged from my foundation in the name of Jesus. Every evil physical design, lose your hold over my life and be purged from my foundation in the name of Jesus. Every evil physical design, lose your hold over my life, be purged from my foundation in the name of Jesus. Be purged for my foundation in the name of Jesus. Be purged for my foundation in the name of Jesus. Be purged for my foundation in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Evil dedication attached to my life. Loose your hold over me and my family tonight. Every evil dedication, every evil change of destiny attached to my family, Attach my children. Loose your hold. Loose your hold over my life. Loose your hold. Be purged for my foundation in the name of Jesus. Be purged for my foundations in the name of Jesus. Every evil spiritual marriage in my family, in my foundation, loose your hold tonight. Be purged in the name of Jesus. Be purged in the name of Jesus. Be purged in the name of Jesus. Be purged in Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. You're going to say evil exchange through evil laying on of hands in my family be, ex be reversed in the name of Jesus. Evil exchange through evil laying on of hands in my family be reversed, be reversed in the name of Jesus. Be reversed in the name of Jesus. Be reversed in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Dream pollution and envious rivalry in my family be destroyed tonight in the name of Jesus. Dream pollutions, evil rivalry, envious rivalry in my family be destroyed tonight in the name of Jesus. Be destroyed tonight in the name of Jesus. Be destroyed tonight in Jesus' name. We are prayed. Amen. Amen. Any demonic blood transfusion, any demonic injection in a dream, be reversed by the blood of Jesus. Go ahead and pray. Ask for a cleansing. If anybody has injected you in the dream or transfused you with blood in a dream, those things are not right. And that has to do with blood. In a dream, you got to be very careful and pray. Lord, reverse the effects of any demonic blood transfusions, demonic blood injections in the dream. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. <laughs> People are afraid of being vaccinated in the physical. Imagine what is happening in the dream. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're going to decree family idols, inherited sicknesses, Occultic influences in my family be destroyed tonight. Your effects be destroyed. The effects of family idols, inherited sickness, occultic influences, demonic sacrifices operating in my family, operating in my bloodline be destroyed tonight in the name of Jesus. The effect of demonic sacrifices, occultic influences, inherited sicknesses, Family idols be destroyed tonight in the name of Jesus. Be destroyed tonight in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Someone is saying, oh, my family is not like that. Glory be to God. Your family is perfect. Even Jesus' family was not perfect. 
<laughs> if your family is perfect, so be it. Glory to God. Even Jesus, I just gave you his lineage now. He had prostitutes and adulterers in it. So I don't know how perfect yours is. Glory be to God. You're going to say local idols, demonic initiations, wrong exposure to sex, causing problem in my family, be reversed tonight by the blood of Jesus. Let the blood, remember what I said about the blood? It was nailed to the cross. Legalities against you were nailed to the cross. So decree it now. Demonic initiations, wrong exposure to sex, local idols, family idols, your effects in my family be reversed by the blood of Jesus. Be reversed by the blood of Jesus. It was nailed to the cross. You are already nailed to the cross. Be reversed. Your effects be reversed now in the name of Jesus. Be reversed in the name of Jesus. Be reversed in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Every fellowship with satanic consultants, witch doctors, tarot card readers, Syrians people, every fellowship with them, Lord, causing problems in my bloodline, let it be reversed tonight by the blood of Jesus. Let it be reversed tonight by the blood of Jesus. Let it be reversed tonight. Any fellowship with satanic consultants, demonic consultants, let it be reversed tonight in the name of Jesus. Let it be reversed by the blood of Jesus. Amen. Amen. The effects of unscriptural manner of conception. Father, reverse it in my family tonight. Reverse it. The effect of unscriptural manner <coughs> of conception. Let it be reversed tonight in the name of Jesus. Let it be reversed tonight in the name of Jesus. Be reversed tonight. The effect of unscriptural manners of conception be reversed tonight in the name of Jesus. Thank you, eternal King of glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The next prayer. I break and loose myself from every form of bewitchment to the 15th generation. I break, I loose myself from every form of bewitchment to the 15th generation in my family. I break, I loose myself from the effects of satanic bewitchment to the 15th generation. I break out of it. I break out. I release my children too by the power of the Holy Ghost. I release my grandchildren by the power of any bewitchment. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 You're going to pray. You're going to say, let the blood of Jesus be transfused into my blood vessels tonight in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray. Let the blood of Jesus be transfused, transfused into my blood vessels in the name of Jesus. Let the blood of Jesus be transfused into my blood vessels so that I can receive the blood of Jesus tonight in the name of Jesus. I receive the blood of Jesus tonight into my body by the blood in the name of Jesus. I receive it in the name of Jesus. I receive it in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. <laughs> you want to say, let every evil gate open to the enemy by my foundations. Let it be closed forever. Every evil gate open to the enemy by my foundations. Let it be closed forever. Let it be closed forever in the name of Jesus. Every evil gate open to the enemy to attack me and my family. Be closed, be closed, be closed by the blood of Jesus. Be closed by the blood of Jesus. Be, oh yes, thank you Lord. Be closed in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I love this prayer. I want you to pray it now. You will pray it later on. Write it down and pray it later on. Lord Jesus, <clears throat> walk back into every second of my life and deliver me where I need deliverance. Heal me where I need healing. Transform me where I need transformation. Go ahead and pray. <clears throat> Lord Jesus, walk 
back into every second of my life and deliver me. Holy Spirit, go back into my history. Deliver me from wherever I need deliverance. Heal me where I need healing. Transform it better where I need transformation. Do it for my children also in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. I want you to begin to thank the Lord. Just praise him for his wonderful deliverance tonight. From this prayer, some people will have dreams of deliverance. From this prayer, things will happen in the name of Jesus. Just thank him and praise him. Father, we thank you. We praise your name. Father, we honor you. You are mightier than the mightiest, greater than the greatest. We just bless your name. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Be thou magnified and glorified. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Brother, sister, I had to stop there. There are so many prayers that we can keep on praying. But the truth of the matter is that if you embrace Jesus and the finished work on Calvary, the shedding of his blood, the water that came out of his side. If you embrace that concept by accepting him as your savior, when you pray these prayers, they have efficacy. They bring results. And you notice and take transformation. My prayer is that the Lord will help you and that you will be delivered. If there's anything that needs deliverance in your life, if there's anything that needs transformation for the better, if there's not, glory be to God. But if as you're praying, you remember this or you remember that, the Lord will take care of it tonight. And I release upon you this week, Excellency, in the mighty name of Jesus. I enjoy you to go and prosper by reason of the blood of Jesus. I ask that you will not go into debt. I pray that you not enter a mug. I pray that you not even enter a hospital, an emergency room and urgent care in the name of Jesus. The Lord will prosper you and your family throughout this week and it shall be for his own glory. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. I hope you will share this deliverance hour. Once it comes on, you can share it. Click it. We usually put these things on YouTube. So if you go and look for my name, Baba Tumishi, okay there. You will see a lot of, the, of these videos. There's so many of them. Both, for one day, I was counting. I saw almost 400 videos. I didn't know I'd preach that much. <laughs> and I know there are more because that's what I could count. But God has to help you and I. And the only way he can is if we have a walk with him. And we stay away from sin. And if you have the mistake of sinning, quickly go back and say, I'm sorry. That's what David did. But we have to stay away from sin. You can't deliberately be sinning and expect grace to continue to abound. May the Lord have mercy on you throughout this week, I pray, in the name of Jesus. And if Jesus has not come, by God's grace, see you next week. Hallelujah. All glory to Jesus. God bless you.